welcome to our pre-gel tailored gelato class. Today we will show you how good gelato is and how easy it is to make gelato. Gelato is a whole natural product, which means the raw ingredients we use are all naturals. And the other ingredients we use, our pre-gel ingredients for example, are also 100% natural. The result is a very healthy product. This is the most important message you can give to your customer and the most important and effective advertisement that we have in Europe too. Anyone in Europe will recommend gelato. Even doctors will tell you that gelato is great in your diet, important for sports people, important for pregnant women, for childs, for more adult people. Anyone can use gelato because of what gelato has inside. It's very rich in vitamins, very rich in proteins, very rich in calcium, very low in calories because the fats content is very low, sometimes it's 0%. Gelato is considered a meal in Europe. If you go to a regular gelato store in Europe, at lunchtime you will see people enjoying gelato in form of a cup garnished with fresh fruit and sauces, and they will substitute their meal with gelato. Gelato is a fresh product, no doubt about this. It's very successful everywhere in the world, in Italy. Why? Because of my grandfather, who used to get up every morning at 5 o'clock to crunch his eggs and to make the product as fresh as possible. These people have been used to eat ice cream for their whole life. Now they eat gelato and it has to be an experience. It has to be overwhelming and that's the reason why you have to make it nice, fresh. You have to give them a true reason to switch and to go to gelato. I'm gonna show you now how easy and fast it is to make highest quality gelato. I'm gonna put first of all the liquid ingredient in the bucket, which is in our case, the whole milk. Then I'm gonna blend the two solids together. The first one would be the sugar, here it is. The second one will be our total base. So once we have the two solids together, we're gonna put it in the milk. Easy enough. The result is a white base. Today we have a coffee paste already scaled. So we are gonna add the coffee paste. And now the last step is to mix it up with a blender. Now we are ready to batch the gelato. You saw how easy it is. Now we are gonna bring the bucket over to the batch freezer waiting for us and within five minutes you will be able to enjoy the best gelato ever. So here we are with the tailor machine made by Frigomat. This is a C116 which is a very large machine that would be used by um, stores with large volumes. The tailor has different models depending on what kind of store you're gonna open. So you go from a 116, which is the largest size that we have here, to a 119, that is a table uh, model. What we need is to make sure that we close the door properly, that everything is closed down, and we're gonna pour our mix from the top into the machine. That's it. I push here. And now we're gonna wait for five more minutes and I will show you how to take the product out of the machine. We hear the alarm. We're gonna open the door and let the product comes out as natural as possible. What I'm gonna do is just place the product in the pan without doing anything. And you see how easy it is we use the design and the waves that are coming out of the machine as natural as possible. And look how beautiful this looks. People will just think that you spend hours designing the gelato this way. In reality, the machine does it for you. So, 
everything came out from the machine. I'm gonna place this last peak here. I'm gonna close the door and bring this over for the last part, which is the decoration. If you go and step into an Italian gelato store, you will be amazed and overwhelmed by the beauty of this product. You will see hundreds of different flavors with hundreds of different designs. I'm showing you today a very easy design that makes sense because it won't take you too long, but still, it will guarantee a nicer look, but a very natural one. I'm gonna use a coffee topping on the top of it, so I'm gonna squeeze it just a little bit on the top. Look how nice this looks. And then, to finish it up, I'm gonna use just some coffee beans. Very easy, a very inexpensive decoration, but it will certainly add value to the product. People will have the chance to choose something, some crunchy, and it will help them to recognize the flavor. We have different cups. That's the most common way to sell gelato. Different sizes, a small size in the US right now would be a four ounce size, to the medium size, six ounce, to a large size, eight ounce. Let's just take for today a medium size cup. We don't scoop the gelato, we use a spatula. Each flavor would have its own spatula. So what we do from the back of the gelato, we take a little bit of it and we fill it into our cup. We can obviously add different flavors. What is important, like always, is to keep a very natural look. So we are not pushing it into the cup. We try to have nice natural waves even in the cup. This way, look at this. This would be the finished cup that we serve in an Italian gelato store. The only thing that is missing is a spoon and then you can offer to your customer the nicest short Italian vacation in the world. Thank you and grazie for joining me in this uh, short gelato adventure. Wish you again all the best and I'm gonna eat and enjoy now my gelato. Buonissimo. <laughs>